What's up, my brother? What's up, bud? Man, oh man, oh man. <clears throat> another day in paradise. I, uh, I got, I did get another text from Ariani. Ugh. She's, uh. Doesn't she know what no means no? Yeah, she kind of, she pretty much told me, uh, stop texting me. <sighs> so. Oh, don't get in trouble because you know you, one of you guys will end up in jail like last time. <laughs> Oh man, what's up guys? This is Brian. Jesse. You're watching MMA the Hard Way in, in the, the car. car. Well, here it is. Part uh, two. This Saturday, yeah. So, uh, really appreciate all the comments we got. Thank you. Uh, new subscribers, Twitter followers. Um, apparently everybody likes this new format. And, um, hey, you know, we're here to bring it to you, break it down. Short is not necessarily bad. Yeah. <laughs> Short, six fights at a time. Yeah. You know? So now we got UFC on Fox, the final UFC on Fox Be show. Before we go to the big show. Yeah, before they switch over to the inaugural mm -hmm. um, Fox Sports 1 mm -hmm. uh, next month. Mm -hmm. So UFC on Fox 8, headlined by Demetrius Johnson, um, going Mar for uh, defending his, his uh, belt again against uh, John, John Moraga. Moraga. Mm -hmm. So we got six fight. We'll do the final two on FX and then the four on Fox. Yep. So once you start us off with yep. that, uh, what's the next fight up on uh, Facebook, uh, FX? Uh, the first one's uh, well, Danny Steele versus Tim Means. Oh, uh, yeah. You know, uh, Means is coming off of a loss and Castillo's coming off of a win. Uh, so it's, you know, getting it warmed up. They're both well-rounded. Uh, should be pretty interesting. I, I see uh, Means trying, you know, Keep it standing, and uh, Castillo to try keep it, you know, standing up. Yeah, that's that's yeah, the way you I know, see it. Danny Castillo, I, I was taking a look at his record. That dude has been a, like basically working under the Zufa mm -hmm. banner mm -hmm. since WEC 34. Yep, when he fought and lost mm -hmm. to Cowboy Cerrone. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I mean, dang, that guy has been for a long time. Yeah. That's like June 2008. Almost like Five a company years. guy. Almost like a Rich Franklin. Yeah, I gotta guy. say, Danny Castillo under the alpha male, Dwayne Bagel. Oh Ludwig. man, he is bringing Al it. Dude, he's stepping up big time. You man. see, you actually could see the change in the striking. Yeah. Which is going to be pretty interesting. Um, yeah. Up next, you have George Mazerval versus uh, Michael Chiesa. You know, a tough uh, winner. Yeah, Michael Chiesa, obviously mm -hmm. uh, undefeated 9-0. Mm -hmm. 9-0. Uh, interesting enough, seven by submission, two by unanimous decision. So he he mm. tries to sub, he tries to choke you out. Yeah, he's mostly he's a ground fighter. If you had to label him, and Masvidal, of course, you know American top team mm -hmm. striker. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know he's going to be trying to knock his block off. Yeah, and uh, probably try to use his takedown defense. But uh, should be pretty interesting as long yeah. as uh, you know one's going to try and take it down, the other's going to try and stand it up. So uh, keep it standing. Have much much more highly ranked mm -hmm. than uh, Kiesa, so I think we're going to see a first big challenge for him. Yeah, is he ready to step up to step the up big leagues, to the big leagues? Of correct. Lightweights. Yeah. Uh, next is uh, the ladies: Liz Carmouche versus Jessica Andrade. Oh yeah, you know uh, this. I, I ranking wise, you're talking about the. I, I guess you'd say the number nine versus the number eleven. Yeah. At least ranking wise, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but. When you look at the competition that uh, Liz Carmouche has gone up against recently, Steep. yeah, versus Jessica Andrade, I I think this is just going to be like a mauling. I mean, Jessica Andrade has done most of her fighting in Brazil, mm -hmm. and um, uh, Carmouche obviously coming off that loss to Ronda Rousey, mm -hmm. of which. She was bringing it she to her, She was taking it to her. It, it was not a walk in the park. I'll tell you that right now. And she's such a great example of, of mixed martial arts, you know. Uh, she, she she just, you know, former Marine. and Very uh, humble, not too much of a smack talker. Marines like a demon. Yeah. And just, uh, I, I think this is just going to be, a, I don't want to say a bloodbath because I think she's Possible highlight reel. Yeah. Possible highlight reel. I think she's gonna. She's either gonna sub her or she's gonna uh, TKO her via ground and pound. Nice. Uh, up next, uh, I'm looking forward to this fight. Me too. Robbie Lawler versus Bobby Volker. That's gonna be uh, a. Yeah. Now, now you know Bobby was a late replacement for uh, 
Sayer. Sayer Baharazada. That's right. Yeah, that's right. We were real. I remember when that fight was announced. Oh, we were man, talking we were about stuck. it. But slug you know what? Fest. This is going to be pretty good too. It's going to be yeah. pretty good. Not as much of a slug fest, a slug fest as before, but yeah. uh, this is going to be a great fight. Um, yeah. Both strikers, both want to finish, and you know, Lawler's just got such a highlight reel of knockouts. It's, oh, yeah, I just love watching that dude fight. Even in strike force, he was just laying the waste, as they say. Yeah, and Bobby Volker, obviously, he's got nothing to lose. Mm -mm. He's he's either got a chance to knock out a veteran, uh, or. Or, uh, or hang with a veteran. a veteran. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's a win-win for him, whether lose or draw. It's a win-win for him, and he yeah. stepped up. No one wanted to step up. He did. Dana yeah. White said that too. Uh, next is the man. It just gets better. <sighs> Jake Ellenberger versus a, Roy McDonald. Yeah, I got to tell you, I think this is definitely the potential for fight of the night. Um, I, 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 I can't see other people. Any of the, of the other bouts, even the main card, coming close to this one. You've got Jake Ellenberger, who's peaking. Mm -hmm. He's peaking. He's got a... His whole thing is road Man. to gold, rolled to gold. He's on this Beast new mode. level. Beast mode. That, I mean, I've been around town. Obviously, I live near where he trains. Yeah. And I'm, I'll be at gyms, and there'll be guys coming in, and they'll be like... And they'll be winded, <laughs> Dude, I was just training with Jake Ellenberger. <laughs> and, it, and it's like you think you're watching, um, what was that show? Uh, what was that show when the guys, the cops were ch chasing, um, oh, crap. Just like basically. And he's like, he's the fastest man alive. He's the fastest man alive. <laughs> These guys are just like dying. Jake Ellenberger is on he's a He's a care. beast. I've seen some of his tr some of his uh, jits training, which is underrated. He doesn't yeah. use it too much because he Roy, knocks people's off. Yeah, and Roy McDonald, you know, four-fight win streak. Uh-huh. He's everyone's saying he's like the next big thing, and these two guys, oh my gosh, they don't like each other. Too well, much. you know, here's the thing: if, if you were to if, they, if you were to call him cars, you know, Jake would be like a you know '69 you know Challenger with a freaking huge Hemi engine, and um, McDonald would be a Porsche. You know, both powerful, one's refined and one's brute. Yeah. You know, and they don't like each other. They genuinely don't like yeah. each other. Uh, you know, so that's gonna be really exciting. Oh, man, I mean, the thing is. It's not like you you couldn't even say oh striker versus bro. it's mm -hmm. a it's a everything versus everything, everything. it's it, they you know? they both could go to the ground they both could keep it standing this, to me this is the most exciting fight since GSP Condit yeah uh, it's like unbelievable I'm really really looking forward and, to that and Jake just Jake says you know Rory better be used to seeing horizontal lines because he's gonna go down I just cannot see uh, I I'm obviously gonna be routing for uh, Jake Ellenberger yeah yeah uh, but yeah uh, I. I I just can't see it not being spectacular. It's going to be a great fight. And the top is uh, Demetrius Johnson versus John Moraga. Uh, yeah. This one, you 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 have to literally pay attention because of he is fast. Yeah. You know, Demetrius Johnson coming in at, I think, um, minus 400 mm -hmm. and something. Mm -hmm. You know, he's a heavy, heavy favorite. Mm -hmm. Moraga earned his shot. Mm -hmm. He's on a seven-fight win streak, 2-0 mm -hmm. and in the uh, octagon, mm -hmm. and also training out of the lab with Benson Henderson. Mm -hmm. So he's, he's high level. He's earned his shot. Mm -hmm. Everyone no else, slouch. No slouch. He's got great foot movement, great yeah. head movement. Uh, that fight, literally, you you know, this, you just, you have to pay attention. It, it goes so fast. It goes everywhere. Yeah. And I think Demetrius Johnson's going to, once again, defend his belt and um, show everyone that, you know, he's, he's the legit. guy to beat, you know? He's legit. Yeah, he's legit. He's a class act. I got to say, you know, I got nothing... Nothing but good stuff to say about him. You know, train center Matt Hume, mm -hmm. which uh, obviously is producing a pretty nice stable of fighters. Oh, and, no, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's going to be a great fight. I, that could also possibly, you know, fight of the night with just all the, the takedowns and, and, you know, up against the wall action. Yep. All right. So, hey, well, here's our breakdown. And we look forward to your comments. And um, please subscribe. And uh, let's hear what you have to say about this one. Thanks for the support, my friends. See you later. Take care.